Yeah, it was, um, as all the best ideas from a pub, put it online and the rest, as they say, is history. Roll up, my friends, gather around. The medicine man is back in town. And when we moved in, um, what was this, 11 years ago, this place was owned by a farmer and you couldn't actually get into the shed. It was so full of books and paperwork. I started clearing it out and then realised there was quite a few interesting visas lying around. I'm a bit of a hoarder anyway myself, so I had quite a lot of it myself. And uh, I've just collected, kept things and bands bring things. and So yeah, it's a good fun collection of bits and pieces from modern times to really quite old. So what always surprises people is um, my entire recording studio fits in my pocket and this is it. I recorded all a thousand sessions using this tiny little Canon Exus camera which is now probably 13, 14 years old. I used to take it on holiday with me. Um, and this is the microphone, pinhole mic. So I mean if you're a sound tech and you listen to one of my sessions you'd think oh it's in mono and um, it's not it's like the sort of modern digital recordings. but that is kind of what people like. They like the fact that this is as close to live and um, quite raw and the musicians actually quite like stripping it back. They don't have, there's all they have to do, loudest at the back, quietest at the front, and we're away. All with this. Thousand sessions recorded on that. <laughs> Oh, well, I've done over a thousand sessions, nearly 500 here and 500 at various festivals. Um, had everyone here from complete unknowns to Passenger before he was famous, um, Paul Heaton for Magic Numbers, Tim Minchin, Katie Tunstall, and hundreds of new upcoming bands. And some of those bands that I recorded five, six years ago are just starting to get played on the mainstream. My videos maps don't get the views that some of the, the bigger session sites do, but what I do know is people like Dermot O'Leary and Bob Harris, Tom Robinson, Kerith Matthews are all watching them a month after we've had someone in here that they're on their radio show doing a session or being booked for festivals. One of Llama Tree came to see me. I'd set up a, a, a shed in, at Colson Hall. We went over, had a look at the site and found this beautifully run down, almost collapsing shed in the woods which we now take over every year, bring the contents of this shed into it and record all the acts that are playing at Lama Tree Festival. The sun and the wind is going to be powering the shed this year and we're going to be putting on a few, few of the acts we, we see over the weekend. I'm then going to invite to play on the Ecotricity stage in the, in the Lama lawn area. And that's a really exciting, exciting partnership. I'm looking forward to working with uh, Ecotricity and other projects we may be doing in the future. Excellent. Felt more comfortable that one. <laughs> yeah, better. Voice sounded a little smoother. Did it? Mm -hmm. it? Just takes a little bit of yeah. time to warm up. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Happy with yeah. that one? Yeah, it's all right.